So back in uh, 1984, we had just finished our first tour for our Fistful of Metal record. We were a new band and of course things were just happening. And we had two songs that were gonna go into the writing of the Spreading the Disease record. One was called Gung Ho. Gung Ho was this kind of ferocious, fast, you know, intense song that the double kick was relentless throughout the whole song. And at the time, I think it was about 180, maybe 185. But when we would play it live, it would shoot up way past there to close to 200 BPM. And back then, I was using my Camco pedals. Camco. Um, and I could fly with them. Uh, the only issue I would have was if I would uh, play at that that speed, it would come loose, and these this part would kind of disengage from the pedal, and it would be like this. So I'd have to tape tape it down in order for it to stay in place. Um, and of course I would break the chains constantly, but at the time it was the best pedal. During the course of uh, writing that song and then recording it, I had to get my uh, speed up and um, I just practiced and practiced that song until I got it to where, okay, I can do this. And then, like I said, when we took it out on the road, it just flew way past the, the point that you hear it on the record. We would play it live. I would never want to play it the first song because I didn't want to come out of the gate, brrr, you know? I wanted time to warm up with it. Even though I did warm up backstage, it's, it, it's not the same thing as when you're out there, lights are on, people are out there, the adrenaline's going, and you know, you just want to play it uh, to your best ability. So um, we would play it somewhere in the set or sometimes the end of the set. The song itself is pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, it's just fast picking, fast kicking, and uh, just went for it. So I mean, the pattern was basically just playing single notes and just playing as fast as you possibly could, you know? So it's like That's basically the speed. I think it was like 180, 185. And then some nights I would, I developed a certain technique for certain parts. And if your, <laughs> if your legs would give out, uh, you'd have a backup, you know, uh, kind of like uh, just push the button and you could go to a, a different mode, a different method. And I would do the, Do that, I do it. Trying to fit the snare drums in between the beats so it didn't sound like it was, uh, you know, there wasn't a break in the beat, so it'd be. Stuff like that. And um, it's just developed it, you know, throughout the years. I would always move my feet. I would always do this type of thing, which I know later people called it the swivel technique, but uh, I didn't know I was doing it. Uh, there was no term for it. I would just do it because my legs were getting tired. You can hear these things still rattling like crazy too. So that's how, uh, I would just go into it, you know, kind of like, oh, well, this is the thing I can't do. Like, I would get tired. And I just started doing that.
and that's how it was. So Gung Ho uh, remained in the set for a while and then other songs came in and they got dropped and we would play it on a rare occasion. Um, and then for this video, we decided to pull it out. Uh, I think we were all feeling hungry and uh, wanted to play again. So we just made this video and there it is, Gung Ho.